Gentlemen, ladies, and anyone in between, I welcome you all. And today we're going to have a little bit of fun with a brand new set of pliers from Sandlike, uh, which is a company that I came across on Amazon. And I, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm a sucker for carbon fiber. So I figured, you know what? If these things are junk, I'll just return them. 80 bucks shipped, not on Prime, on Amazon. And I saw these, I thought I had seen these in like an Alibaba or Wish or something like that, maybe a year or so ago. And I, I did a little research on the company Sandlike, uh, and it appears on a couple of their Amazon listings, they uh, left off the S. And it got me wondering, what if some other fishing companies misspelled their name and left off the first letter? And uh, the first name that popped into mind was uh, Daiwa. And what would happen if uh, they left off the D? <laughs> I don't know why, but I think it's funny. And uh, it's with that being said, let's go ahead and find out if those things are actually worth anything. So over here I have a pair of the P-Line Adoro pliers, which were 40 bucks brand new when they first came out. That's light. Holy crap, is that light. Now these were 40 bucks when they first came out. Now there's a billion companies that sell the exact same thing. Uh, as far as I can tell, there's no difference in quality between them. And my God, I cannot believe how light these things really are. I, I must have just thought that there was the sheath that was heavy. Uh, no, guys. Um, these are like air in comparison to this. Normally, I would never carry a pair of these on my on my my person when I'm out hiking and going through fields and on the rivers because these things just clang around and there's just no need. A lot of times the jaws are too wide and you can't get in where you need to. But the design here is pretty good. They suck for salt water. And anybody who says otherwise, um, what are you using, like size eight trout hooks? I mean, trying to get something like this out of a bluefish with this style, which is why these haven't been used in years. Uh, they just flex and twist at the joint, which is something I'm concerned about with this. And uh, right now, brand new, I can definitely tell you um, that the spring retention and the spring back, just to give you an idea, The P-line closed first. Watch the jaws. That tells you that spring tension is a little bit higher on these. Look at these out of the way. These are all busted up. I did a comparison video between those and the Sergeant Sportsmate pliers, and I you know, did a hook cutting demo and cracked the cutter on it. Like butter. But the sheath, the sheath on this thing is not horrible. It's like a uh, carbon fiber textured vinyl, I think. Yeah, that's what it is. Yep, I have a carbon fiber wallet that looks similar to this. It's actually, the, 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 the faux carbon finish is actually pretty nice. And I'll be a son of a gun. It doesn't feel like it's junk. Did I just cut myself? No, it's just they melted the edge here to keep it from fraying. It was a little sharp. Damn. <laughs> I was expecting this thing to be an absolute piece of garbage. Um, I'm, I'm impressed. And the jaws aren't square. This is where it gets important. So the jaws, you can see how far off they are. That's a no-no. You lose all your power. Oh, wow. See how easy they flex? These are junk. Damn it. That's so weird because they feel good here. No, they don't. Never mind. Nope. These are useless. I say that because, say you have a, 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 a bass hook like this, and you go to twist it out. Yep. See that? I, I didn't even put any pressure on it at all. Yeah, these are junk. So you go to twist out that hook, and it just the jaws immediately kick out wide. Oh, damn. <laughs> I wanted these to be perfect. I really did. Like, they're so lightweight, guys. I swear. I swear they're almost, like, ideal. Man, what a disappointment. Ah. Oh, damn it. Oh, well. 
they felt good when I first gave them a little, a little bit of this. I didn't feel it, but you guys just saw what I did. I, you know, when I grabbed the jaws, I'm not even putting any pressure. I mean, just look at the dents on my fingers. It's not much. There's, there's almost no pressure at all. Damn it. And just to give you an idea, that just to show you I'm not over-exaggerating, here's a, uh, a small size 2 owner single. And it'll work on that, I guess. Yeah, it'll work on the small stuff. But it's it's not going to work on the big stuff. And how does it cut braid? Um, let's find out. How does it grip braid, first of all? Really? Does it cut? Hmm. Huh. Ugh. Not very well. Yep, they're getting returned. <laughs> it's hit or yeah. It's hit or miss. Some spots it's it's nice and, and snappy and cuts good, some spots it doesn't. Sorry, Sand Like, I don't like you. I almost loved you. You look pretty. I like how light you are. I like half of your design. You're almost there. It just goes to show you, you this kind of tool. You, you just you just can't go about it like this. And it's pretty interesting. I wonder how it's actually manufactured. Like, is it tubular? I was expecting it to be like a laminated, like what you get out of a fishing handle. How it's just layered. But such is not the case. Ugh. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, let's see how the split ring aspect of it functions. I wonder if these are even stainless. If they're aluminum. Alright, here is a size 5.5H. Here's a 4X. I think it's a 3 OBMC. I mean, it'll work in a pinch. It's just like any of the other nose crimpers or uh, split ring pliers, I should say. They don't generally open it up enough. Whereas, yeah, something like a, a Texas tackle. Even with the splitting now bent a little bit because I was trying to force it, it grips it much better. And then you just go, boom, and spin it. God, these these are lighter than these. Just that that gives you an idea. I, I swear it's lighter than this uh, 18 stainless steel mustache shark hook. Like, that's pretty sick. But unfortunately, these are not going to cut it. So, there are only three reviews on these. Uh, one was not in the, <laughs> the title anyway. Uh, it was Korean. And... Uh, some said they were good, some said bad. Um, don't buy these. And until next time, guys! <laughs> Tight lines. And I'll see you soon. These are getting returned. Brew like butter. Like butter. I just broke the cutter. Lots of people love the mustads. Uh, I'm more of a believer that anybody who recommends these hasn't used the Texas Tackles. Um, unless you need the ability to cut braid or cut mono, um, if you're only using them to remove hooks and rings, there's just no comparison.